Good day everyone. Welcome to our Applied Economics subject. Our lesson for today is all about the nature and scope of economics. Prepared by your trolley, Sir J.M. This is for our week 1 and this is our lesson 1. Our learning competency for this lesson is we need to differentiate economics as social science and applied science in terms of nature and scope. So let's start. The nature and scope of economics. Economics is a social science concerned with the explanation and prediction of observed phenomena in the society. This is according to Jose Molina and Nadal. Economics is also an applied science because it uses the scientific method in its explanations, which consists of observing reality and presenting questions and problems to arrive at the formulation of theories and models. What are the fields of economics? We have two fields, the microeconomics and the macroeconomics. What are differences between the two? Differences between the two. Okay, let's start. Microeconomics. Its perspective focuses on parts of the economy. Individuals, firms, and industries. So it only focuses on a certain part. So when we say micro, small, so focus on a small area. So here is a representation of what microeconomics is. Household from the supplier, then we consume, and then demand and supply only, round robin or vice versa. While in macroeconomics, its perspective looks at the economy as a whole, focusing on goals like production, the standard of living, unemployment, and inflation. So, in macroeconomics, when we say macro, big, malaki, so therefore it focuses on the whole economy. Okay? And its main focus is the productions of the goods. Is it uh, limited or plenty of uh, goods being produced? The standard of living, does the economy prosper, unemployment, and the inflation. So, macroeconomics has two types of policies for pursuing these goals. First one is the monetary policy. It involves changing the interest rate and influencing the money supply. And the second one is the fiscal policy. Involves the government changing tax rates and levels of government spending to influence aggregate demand in the economy. So here is the representation of macroeconomics. Okay, gross domestic product or the GDP, inflation, monetary policy, deflation. So the comparison of microeconomics versus macroeconomics as what you can observe individual household production firms so yan lang yung routine ni microeconomics while well, in macroeconomics involves all in, including the government okay Economic resources are factors. We have first the land. Land, but this includes any natural resources used to produce goods and services. This includes not just land, but anything that comes from the land. For example, then animal resources, food, oil, forest resources, precious metals, minerals, rocks, water resources, land resources, wind, power, and solar energy, natural gas. All the uh, resources that we can use ca that came from the land or that is in our land. Okay? Second one is the labor or the manpower. It's the effort that people contribute to the production of goods and services. 
So, ayan. Yan yung mga sample type of laborers natin. Next one is the capital. Think of capital as the mach machinery, tools, and buildings humans use to produce goods and services. So, we use money to buy uh, machineries that we can use in order for us to produce goods. And... In order also for us to create or start a business, we need to use money, okay, or capital in order for us to start. And the last one, on the representation of money, and the last one is entrepreneurship. An entrepreneur is a person who combines the other factors of production, in land, labor, and capital. Say, for example, you have the land. You already have the manpower or the labor and you have the capital. But you are not good uh, in entrepreneurship, then malulugi ka. Okay? So, dapat magaling ka doon. So, ito yun. Ito yung iyong goal or yung iyong mindset. Success dapat. Once na nag-start ka ng business. Economic agents or stakeholders. So, we, consumers, we consume goods and services or offer production factors. Producers also is an economic agent. They are the one who produce goods. And the public sector is the, uh, the attempt to maximize the well-being of society. So, sila yung nag, uh, ano ng ating mga pera, kailangan man natin kung ano, kanyan, so, ataxes. So, the summary for this one, the nature and scope of economics are social science and applied science. The field of economics are microeconomics and macroeconomics. Economic resources are factors. We have land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Economic agents or stakeholders are consumers, producers, and the public sectors. And that's the end of our lesson. Thank you for listening and God bless.